Hi my lovelies, I hope you're all doing a very good. I've got the dreaded Lurgy, um, I think it's flu. Uh, so I was up all last night, block nose, um, coughing, all the rays of colours coming out of the schnoz bucket. So I swear, I mean, that's my excuse for looking a bit worse for wear on sort of all the other crap I have going on. But today I thought I would uh, test something out with you. I've had it for quite a while and it was bought for me. Now apparently this is the Microneedling Infusion Anti-Aging Solution by Glove Beauty. And apparently Kim Kardashian and the likes, they all use this. Um, it is expensive. Um, Get it out. I think it is about forty-five pounds, or is it forty-nine pounds? Um, as I say, that's why I never bought it. It has three vials in. My mum and my sister use it, and they swear by it. So I am going to be using this today. I don't actually know how to use it. I need to read that. But also, I am going to dermaplane my face and dye my eyebrows. So this is a what's it called? This is a make lady lose beautiful all right so we're, we're going to try anyway anyway first and foremost i've just got me a good old home not home bargains savers uh makeup wipes and i'm just going to clean the face okay like so And if you can hear my fan, I'm sorry, but I think I've got a bit of a temperature as well. So I'm feeling even hotter than usual. Pillow off is blowing me air all over the gaff. Right, so. Um, let's make sure you can see this beautifulness properly, alright? Hang on. They're like, oh, Lise, get your makeup on, girl. We don't want to see this ugliness. I'm going to get the cups and tell you. I don't care how real I am. Right, um, so let's start to turn the plane. I have two different ones. I've got one for which I'm going to use for my face, which is like so. And then one that I'm going to use for the brows. Well, I'll say that if I'm going to be bothered. Um, now, I'm going, to I'm going to have to look into here, because obviously I can't, as long as you can see what I'm doing. I'm just going to start on my forehead. Now listen, if anyone does dermaplane, obviously you'll be used to it. But if you've never dermaplane before, be very, very careful. Because these are really sharp. I need to off me. Oh, hang on, I've just took off some of my hair. I'm an idiot. Make sure you go under your chin, yeah. Especially if you've got the orphans right now. Anyone else when they dermaplane feel like a fella? What oh, darling? I really only do have though peach fuzz. I mean, I'm not airy. I mean, apart from the one orphan that I'll get, a couple of orphans. Um, I'm not really a hairy person, she says. That's all the air's in, in the air. If you know what I mean? But I just think that when you dermaplane, um, wow, look at that peach fuzz. Can you see all that? They're like, not really this. Just take your word for it, all right? Don't really know this off of you lot to tell you, all right? Whoa, that was a massive bit. Where's it gone? Just dropped down my little foot, I think. Oh, 
hope you've all been doing okay anyway. Um, I've got a couple of stories to tell you, but I won't tell you today. I'll tell you in my in another video. But one's about me axle in there. And the other one was about bingo the other night, yeah. Yeah, he got kicked out again. Tell him a troublemaker, me. Not really. I'm not a troublemaker. Right, I'm using the, this one for my brows. Now, all my hairs, now, on my eyebrows, I think I may have told you before that, um... I think I've told you before that these are all my hair but I did have them microbladed um, probably a few years ago now and then what I did I just sort of done what I'm doing now I just let the hair uh, basically grow out of where the microblading was done and then you just get left with this shape which is what I've got now I know I know they're absolutely gorgeous but do you know what they're not um, because uh, it's funny, a lot of people have said to me they like my brows and I get actually a lot of compliments on my brows but so you've got such nice eyebrows um, but I used to prefer my brows when I could um, draw them on so I like my brows like that more so um, and some, you know, sometimes Botox can do this it can lift the brows but that's the shape I prefer so it is the shape I've got but just higher, you see, when I let it go, it drops down, which obviously if I shave all my hairs off, the only way for me to do that would be to shave all my hairs off and then obviously put a lot of concealer on and then just draw the brows higher. But um, I'm not gonna do that. I have done it before, but I'm not gonna do it now. Like so. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to take these scissors here and be spooling like so. I mean, you should really do this afterwards, but I'm not. I'm going to do it now. I'm going to brush my brows all up, as you can see. Can you see this? Like so. And then cut these so they're not as long. So, other side. I can hear my Eugene Poo Jane or Tara Palmer, it's one of the two, calling me like, Mommy! Don't be a fool, don't throw your life away. Anyone remember that song? Just come into my head and I don't know why. Don't be a fool. Well, I think before I dye them, I might do the, the glove on it first. So that's what I'm going to do, so one minute. Right, so it says take out one of the Glove Anti-Aging Renewal uh, Serums, which is this. Uh, it says twist open and fill the device with one, which is this, serum ampule, then close it securely. Right, so this is the little bottle, like so, it's got to go in. So I'm gathering on, open that, like so, and then, Uh, no, I've done something wrong. Um, all right, let me try and get into it one minute and I'll be back. That was pretty hard to get into. It's got a lot of uh, protection around it. Anyway, so here's the serum and I'm going to pour it into the bottle. Like so. 
I don't know if I'll need all of it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to put all of it. Like so. I'll leave that there in case I don't use it all. Then we're gonna put the lid on so securely. I hope you can all see what I'm doing. Feel secure enough, and then I have to leave it upside down two minutes and I'll be back right so here we go now my mum said it doesn't hurt I'll be the judge of that there is a load of hang on a minute oh yeah I can feel them there's a load of micro needles in here all right here we go I can hear it breaking the skin. It doesn't feel like any serum's coming out. Am I doing something wrong? Right on my head. Oh my god, I can't hear it breaking the skin. It does hurt quite a bit. Oh, hang, hang on. Oh, yes, I can see it coming out now. Oh, look, I'm bleeding. No pain, no gain, as they say. Bleeding again, look. But this has been so highly recommended that I was like, I've got to try it. And my mum said it's absolutely fantastic it does hurt i am not gonna lie it does hurt a little bit i'm bleeding a bit look can you see the blood i don't care mate i don't care i might actually i'm thinking maybe i won't do my brows today maybe it's not a good idea after opening my skin up like this so i might leave it till tomorrow now they do say oh god it hurts <laughs> it's make me want to sneeze now they do say i don't know why but when things hurt me it makes me sneeze they do say that when you finished with uh, the end of it, the micro needling, it should be thrown away. But my mum hasn't thrown hers away. Neither with my sister. They sterilise it and use it again because they're quite expensive to buy. Oh, it's making my nose run. It's because it's hurting. No pain, no gain. Come on, Lily. But my mum's skin and my sister's skin looks really good from doing these. Oh, just a minute. Listen, there's thousands of little needles in there. It's making my eyes run. Um, okay, let's go across here. Because what it's doing, it's puncturing loads of holes in your skin. And then this serum is going in. And I think it's like a, a 
collagen from what I can gather. Should we go this side now? Oh god, it hurts! Ow! Smite me up. Oh, Smite me up. It does say you should do a fifty percent overlap as well, which Yeah, go on. Callie's about to make dinner. Ah, see, Callie's out making dinner. Oh, it does hurt. I tell you. Oh! No pain, no gain, and already I think I'm looking absolutely gorgeous. Let's do a bit more on this forehead. That's where I'm moan about. Let me tell you, them lines that I got, they will be gone, mate. I'm really digging it in. As you can see. What it does, I think it damages the skin a little bit. Look, I'm bleeding. I think it damages the skin a little bit. Um, yeah, damages the skin a little bit, and then but the it's in, it, well, infused with infused with this serum, but then it builds up collagen. I think is what it does. Should I do it on my chin? Does it say you do it on your chin? Let me have a look. Oh yeah, and your neck. I'm not gonna lie though, it does hurt quite a bit. All right, I hope my neck, so I'm gonna do all. It's not as painful as I thought on the neck. No, anyway, let me carry on and I'll be back because you don't just want to see me pricking myself, do you? Okay, so I have done my face. It does feel a little bit tender, a little bit sore, um, but I do think that, I mean, this obviously has made my skin look red and flushed, so, you know, that's always, like, nice, isn't it, when your skin looks like that. Um, I've done a lot on my forehead because I'm trying to get rid of a few of Oh, I say that there's like a couple of lines there that I notice I do not want them there um, really I need to have some Botox but obviously I can't get it done at the moment uh, which I will do at some point <clears throat> I've not had it for such a long time but my mum reckons that this stuff she said I don't know what it, it, it does but she reckons that it sort of reactivates whole Botox so it is open alright it is open um we'll see anyway but yeah so that is the glove beauty and like i say see for 45 or 49 pounds it isn't cheap um but you get three vials with it i've still got some serum left which i'll use next time they do recommend that you do not use these needles again yeah just the once and that's it but like i said um oh there's some serum on there i'm not gonna waste any of it uh, like I said, my mum said, just sterilise it, and then she uses hers again. <clears throat> so I've got some, uh, what is it? Is it Milton? Oh, I've got something in my bowl. Milton, is it? Oh, well, some, I think it's Milton. Um, Steriliser, so I'll be putting it in there now. And yes, that is it. So I, I'm going to do, what I'll probably do is do my eyebrows, like dye them tomorrow. I just don't want to put anything on there now because I've got all holes in my face you know but I will do it tomorrow and then I'll just add it 
on the second part of this video. Like I say, I think I should have maybe done my eyebrows first. But this is how it is now. And I'll let you know um, what I think of it. But I'd like to have done under my eyes as well. But I just think that might be a bit too sensitive. Does it say you do under your eyes? Hang on. I keep going back and having a look. Does it say this? Does it say that? Uh, not really. I think it's showing like down there and down there. But I doesn't, don't think it shows under doing your eyes. Anyway, like I say, I will add... Um, when I've done my eyebrows, when I dye them, to uh, this video. So day two, I bet you're thinking she's spoiling us with her natural beauty. I know. All right. Look absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> anyway, my skin is looking absolutely, well, I think so, all right, gorgeous. Um, what do you think? Anyway, I am going to just, as per, <sighs> still got the old uh, Lurgies. I'm using, as per, oh, just the cheap old Savers wipes. You know, I just like doing this. Do you know what? See, it looks like I've got like a little bit of black under my eyes. You can really see it on here, but I don't think you can really see it in real life. Not really. Mind you. That's what bling concealer's for. Do you know what I mean? Right. So. Just dry off that. What's it called? What is it called? Makeup. Why? That's it. Makeup. Why? Sorry, I have to come out short. I need me a mirror so I can look at my gorgeousness. All right. I know. I know. Stop it. <laughs> right. I'm doing my brows. Right. So as you see in previous, stand up, you twerp. No, the mirror don't want to comply. Compliance is what I'm needing here. Compliance. Hmm. Now you might see me now and again go a bit actually let me bring this down because otherwise you're gonna see me go too much out of shot. Alright, and hey, look at all my makeup boxes. Do you like them? Yeah, don't worry about that Sainsbury bag in there. It's got my cellar taping for my Vintardo. And I've got a couple of parcels to do and then I shall be putting it away. Which I'm gonna do after this. You're a little bit on the PISS, there we go. It. Right, so I'm gonna use what am I gonna use? A pot, one dappen dish, and then I think I'm gonna go for. I have, I believe, a really. Oh, let's use this one that my mum gave me. <coughs> I think it's a. Let's try the dark brown. I'm using this dark brown called a praise. And it is in dark brown, so let's put some in here. There we go. Looks like a lump of turd. Don't worry. Lump of turd on the eyeball. Well, not on the eyeballs, you know what I mean. And then I'm using this 3% reverse, reverse, whatever it is, activator, which is like a perrot. Peroxide, bleeding looks like peroxide, no, to be honest with you. And then I, well, I keep doing that, go blimey. And then I say, I am one minute gonna stir, so he's gonna mix it all up. Here we go, it looks like a lump of diarrhea. Diarrhea, diarrhea, it came from my bum like a bullet from a gut. And diarrhea, I know, I know you like my singing, right. So this is how I do it, all right? Remember, I'm not profe I'm not professional in anything I do. Don't worry about that. I blag everything. So I'm just going to paint it on. There we go. Look at that. Yes, I know. It's absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to paint it on. I want to put a lot on now, all right? Because I 
I don't do anything natural, guys and girls. You know that. I just, I'm, I'm just, honestly, I just like more makeup and that than boots can't I? I can't help it. I can't help how I feel about cosmetics and surgery. I just love it. All of it. Oh, if I tell you if I had the dosh, you wouldn't even recognise this girl. I'll tell you that for absolutely nothing. Right, I'm just packing it on, as you can see. Like there's no more. Like my life depends on it. And then what I like to do... It's just leave it like that and look like crowd show marks. <laughs> really. You better not be laughing. Right, I've got a load of tish, okay? And then I've got a load of cotton swabs if you want to be uh, posh. If you don't, a load of Q-tips. That's what I call them. Q-tips, all right? Q-tips. And then what I'm going to do, I am going to go like so. Yeah, see that flick? Don't be jealous of my flicks, all right? You just have to get practice and then you can flick as good as I can. <laughs> uh -oh. I think I'll use another one. Don't want to get it, you know. See, I like it like that when it's really long. But you see, the problem is, can you see I've got two flicks? Because that is the end of the microblade in there. Yeah? And actually, I need some more on there. Come back, down, 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 baby, come back. You wouldn't believe I've got flu, would you? I'm hardy when I am, bloody hardy. I suppose you get to be when you have as no enough things wrong with you. You get to be strong. Do you know what I mean? Right, did I just see a, an orphan? I think I did. Orphan. Is going to be gone. Well, I wouldn't say orphan, but I can see some little ears there. They got to go. They got to go. Sorry, I did just not fuck it. What? Why is it not going in? Oh, I did now. Say, don't you do get on my nerves, I tell you. Let's go back in with a bit more. You want to pack it on, yeah? Right, your laugh depends on it. Right, now I'm going to go for the other ball. Come back down, 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 down. Does any of you ever get randomness, like just come in your head? I get it all at the time. Callie says to me all the time, she says, Mum, you're so random. <sighs> I don't know why. I just am, I suppose. Freaking hell. Made a right mockery of this one. Don't worry. Where there's Q-tips, we shall fix it. So, let me go in with a Q-tip, all right? Do, 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 do. I don't want to do that now. I need to put more on. <gasps> oh, excuse me, that's my asthma. <coughs> oh dear, I'm so healthy. I mean. <laughs> Oh dear, Lisa, honestly. I remember once, right, I went into this shop. I don't know what I was even doing down there. If it was in the West End somewhere. And on the window of the shop, yeah, it said, Eyebrows are sisters, not twins. That's what it said, all right? Obviously, it was an eyebrow shop. And I thought, shut your gob. That's what I thought. They are bloody twins. And if they don't look the same, I would be pissed off. Now, mine are probably not going to look the same. But if I'm going in and paying for it, you better make sure they look the same. Because if they don't look the same, I mean, I've seen people look like celebrities and that. 
and they've got like one eyebrow up there, <laughs> one down there, and I think, have they not got a mirror in the salon? Do they go like, oh, yeah, great, I'm beautiful. <laughs> I mean, what? Celebrities, look upon the eyebrow and see that they're not right, all right? If they ain't matching, cups, mate, cups. Now, these ain't mega matchy. Mega matchy, is that even a word? They're not mega matchy, you know what I mean? But you know what? As I said, I'm not paying anyone to do it. I'm doing it myself. So, I'm not that bothered. I am bothered. Like I say, I don't like it when they don't match. But I can tell you, they match more than what I've seen some people come out of a salon with. So, that's good for me. When I had my jet black hair, because I had jet black hair for very, very many years, very many years, and I used to go and get my eyebrows done once a week, and I used to have them blue-black, because my hair was actually blue-black. Oh, I loved it, I did. I used to think I looked gorgeous, but that was, you know, what am I, so we're 36, uh, let's just say between 30 and 36. So it's a long time ago, 15, 16 years ago or whatever. And obviously I looked much younger. I think you can have black hair in your... I'm doing my lashes now, by the way. I think you can have black hair in your 30s, maybe even, you know, and maybe even your 40s, yeah. But I think... I mean, I don't know. Different people are different and your opinion might be different to mine. But for me, I love black hair. It's one of my favourite colours, but it also can be a little bit harsher as you get older. Um... So for that reason, that's why I don't like myself as much. I'm not going to lie with lighter hair. I prefer myself with my black hair. Um, but because I'm getting older now, and unless you can fold like, uh, fold like a blefla prat, blefla, oh God, you twat Lisa, blefla, blefraplasty or whatever it's called, which is sorting the balls out and a facelift and all that to look 20 again. Yeah. That's just my opinion. I mean, I've seen loads of older women with black hair and they look absolutely beautiful, but just for me, I feel that I look probably younger with it, a bit blonder. What's your views? What do you lot think? Do you agree? I mean, my sister gave me this really nice colour. She said, I'll try it. It looked nice on you. And it's like a, a light coffee, a light coffee brown, I'd say it is. I really like it. But um, it's either that or I'm thinking of going really blonde, like pure white, like Marilyn Monroe. Happy birthday to... Yeah, do you know, Callie was telling me she had an IQ of 165, more than Albert Einstein. Yeah. But that's a fact she never knew about Marilyn. She's so beautiful. I always thought the most beautiful women in the world, for me, was... Marilyn Monroe, Pamela Anderson, I, I used to get called her when I was young all the time and I used to think it was the best compliment ever. It is, you can't beat it being called Pamela Anderson. Um, and Anna Nicole Smith. So, so I'm just keep going over my eyes because I want to get let them dry a bit. Um, yeah, Pamela Anderson and Anna Nicole Smith, beautiful. But then I suppose if you think of all the old ones like as well, Sophia Loren, Raquel Welsh. Raquel Welsh was absolutely Gorgeous, Ursula Andress, um, Bo Derrick. Let me think of some of the ones. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Elizabeth Taylor. You know, it's really weird. When I think of people I've been called in my time, after having all different hairstyles and stuff, and you think to yourself, none of them look alike, and it's so bizarre what people see. Right, I'll tell you who I've been called throughout my life. Are you ready? Samantha Fox. All right, this is the list. Samantha Fox. Sharon of EastEnders. <laughs> Pamela Anderson. Elizabeth Taylor. Priscilla Presley. And Adam Lambert, who now sings for Queen. Someone said to me once, you look so much like him, he could be your brother. 
thanks. <laughs> that's when I had my black hair and I had to imagine his black hair at the time. I think that's it. I think that's it. Oh, no. And the recent one I've been getting is Stifler's mum from American Pie. Oh, what's her name? Is it Jennifer Coolidge? Yeah, a lot of people said, you like Stifler's mum. Oh, and Darcy and Stacey, I've had that as well. Bloody hell, I've had loads of different... People say I look like different people. I don't know if I say that on my double chin. Mm -mm. Do you know what I mean? I don't know. I don't know. I'm not saying all of them are raving beauties. I think I like to stick with the Pamela Anderson one. That would do me. But yeah, I used to get called her all the time when I was younger. All the time. Now I look like granny version. Don't you say yes. Anyway, so that I think is okay for me. Um, and I'll let it dry. And once it's dried, as Arnie says in most of his films, I'll be back. So I will see you shortly. I just wanted to say, uh, so I'll just clean the dap and dish. I was so angry, so... There's something wrong with my Eugene Poojee. Now, because I can't handle him, yeah, um, because I can't get him out because he'll bite my fingers off, um, I phoned so many vets, yeah, and even my mum said, this is ridiculous. And I just sometimes feel today that all it's about is money. It should be about the care. And again, you know, it, this is my opinion, and uh, rightly so, because of what I've just experienced. So I phoned so many um, vets up. I mean, so many. One of them from Pets at Home, she was well rude. I said to her, do you look at birds? She went, no, we don't. I thought, you twat, I'll give her the cups. They shouldn't have people working on their reception like that. Um, if you don't want to do your job, love, I feel like someone, you go and get another one. Don't talk to people like that. That was zero customer service. Um, you know, it doesn't cost anything just to be nice. And when someone's phoning about their animal as well. Anyway, I'll cut long story short. I phoned so many. I mean, what is that? A wasp, probably. I phoned so many, right? No, we don't do birds. No, we don't do birds. No, we don't do birds. Then one person did give me some advice. She said, you can go to Camden. There's a college there and I think she said I think they do birds um so I was like a college and she said but you need to call them and find out but what annoys me is a lot of them are saying oh no they're exotic pets that blows my mind because it's hundreds of years now people have been look have been having birds you know parrots uh, you know, Senegals and macaws, African greys, parakeets, budgies, whatever. They shouldn't come under exotic, especially when we've probably got more parakeets out there than what people have got in their homes. They're not exotic birds. They're breeding like wildfire out there, the parakeets, which is, which is what I've got. You go to St James's Park and Kelly said they all come down and you feed them. They're there and everywhere. Everywhere I go, I know the noise. And I'm like, parakeets, parakeets, parakeets. They're not that exotic anymore. Um, so at the end of the day, because people do have birds, they should be able to obviously help you. Anyway, like I say, no one was going to help. No one was helping me. I thought, no, none of you. You know, is it is? I thought RSPC and that and places like that, all these bird places, and veterinary, so anywhere, I just literally phoned, every number I found, I phoned. No one was willing to help you. Anyway, like I say... For me, I thought that it was all about the animal's welfare. Do you get what I'm saying? And it just doesn't seem that way anymore. It just doesn't seem that way to me. Anyway, luckily enough, I ended up finding somewhere. I was like, hurrah. So she said to me, we will look at him. She said, but you have to be registered. So I was like, oh, okay. So she said, but it will take 24 to 48 hours. So anyway, I registered and I just earlier on uh went to, she said because you've got to do the appointment online done the appointment online and luckily enough i've got someone to see him uh on monday at half past four i dread to think what this is going to knock me back yeah i dread to think and that's without any medication oh by the way what's wrong with him i'd noticed that he was biting under his wings 
like under his wings. Now he's never been around apart from his sister. He's never been around any other birds. He's an indoor bird, so he doesn't. He's not going to go out and he's not mixing with other animals that could give him mites or stuff like that. So I I don't know what it is, um, but. When he lifted up his wing, I noticed under his wing that the skin was like a very, almost like a game bird, like a very dark colour, and it shouldn't be, it should be a grey colour like his feet. Um, and then on the other wing, I noticed, obviously I can't get me hands in, it's just, just when he's trying to preen himself, and I noticed it was scabby under there, so I think he's got some type of infection. Um, uh, I mean, I, I say it won't be mites, I doubt it would be mites, but then again, they could have mites in their, some of their food. I don't know. But anyway, um, so I'm going to get him checked out on Monday. But I'm just thinking, you know, uh, I love him. But they are a worry because I've been really worrying about him, my little Eugene Poojin. And what he's doing as well, he's on the bottom of the cage. So I don't know if he find, he's finding it hard to sort of, because his wings are hurting or under his wings are hurting, to get up onto the, uh, on his perches. I don't know. But he's, but he's still eating all right. He's, because I've done a bit of research. So he's, he's, Poos and that seem fine because they do and we they do like their we and poos together, they look all right and he don't stop eating. He's a greedy little so and so, so it's not done anything to his appetite. But obviously, the way he's at the bottom of the cage, I know my animal like you do. You you know your animals, you know your kids, um, and I know that's not normal for him. So I was like, you know, if I, I was sitting talking, I was like, if only you'd let mummy get you out, you know, I'd lift up his wing and I could have a look myself and I would, could bathe it with some, you know, what, like lukewarm water, just maybe a little bit, not to hurt him if there was open cuts and put salt on it, but you know, I could m maybe try and get him a bit better, but that's not gonna happen because he'd bite each and every one of my fingers off. I'll be glad I'll be happy to see I'll be able to see them on Monday <laughs> when they're like, Oh, how do we get him out? But I suppose they can get him out one of their gloves and then they might have to just sedate him. They'll probably charge me fifty quid for the sedation and all. Well we couldn't hold him because he's gonna bite us so fifty quid for the station, seventy pounds for the consultation. I'm gonna go and need to walk the lane again, and I <sighs> bloody animals, I tell you. But anyway, I just thought I'd let you all know that. I don't know if you wanted to know, but I've told you anyway. And I will be back when these have got to come off. I'm back. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I ain't, I ain't back because it cut straight to it. But I've had to wait for these to take and to dry. And I believe they're done. So, the old faithfuls from Savers. Let's get this show on the road. So, I'm just going to. Make sure I get all the dye off. You see, that bit I really don't like, but it's not much I can do about it. So that's one brow. Let's get another clean wipe and go for number two. Bleed number twos, number two, pain of my life they are. Oh God, itchy snuzzer. Always got an itchy nose. I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I don't know. I told you, I'm just random. Randomness from me. Oh, it's a gap. Oh. Right, now I'm taking it off my ever so long eyelashes. Oh my god, I've got the shortest eyelashes in the world, I'm sure. Look at them, look. What's the point? What is the point of them? Ow! Oh, I've got some in me, I won't pull. Okay. 
come out. And in this eyeball now as well. It's either the dye or the all this. You say? You're probably like, no, you haven't got any lashes, Lace. Need to get some tissue, one minute. So, they are done. I am going to just put on some of this Pixie 24 hour eye elixir. And I'll tell you, I'm putting it everywhere. It's a rollerball. Oh, don't mess around. I'm going to put it over here as well. And I'm going to put it on my brows. Why not? I never use what things are meant for. I'm terrible. I'll just put it anywhere I want. So, that is my brows um, done and dusted do. They'll do. I've missed, I've not missed a bit out, but for some reason this bit hasn't taken as much as what I'd like. So, but it don't matter, I'll just brush it up. And when I put my eyebrow pencil on, it'll cover it anyway. So there you go. That's my eyebrows done. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, if you have, please, oh, I don't even know what I'm saying. Please hit the like. Please subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up and hit your notification bell because it will tell you every time that a little old me or not so little old me uploads. Hope you're having a lovely day, whatever you're doing. And uh, I'd just like to say thank you to all my new subscribers, all my old ones for all your lovely comments. It means a lot to me and I will see you all in my next video.